I'm joined today with Jono, Chief in Charge of our Electrical Engineering site here at Wholesale and Maddox. I'm Rocket Rod and today we're talking about the new Nomad Lockup Kit. This is actually the new evolution. Absolutely. Uh, taking what we've got and learnt from it and made it even better. So over the last 20 years we started off with the, the Generation 1, mm -hmm. the Generation 2 and finally we got into the, the um, current model which is the Generation 3. And this is the one that's got, works off, well, you can actually make adjustments with the app on your phone. Mm, absolutely. The whole lot, it's all comes complete with the, all the harnesses and everything else that you actually need. And it's even got Bluetooth. I mean, everything's better with the Bluetooth, everything isn't it? Everything's Bluetooth. And it's set and forget. So those people who just want to whack it in and actually just run and go, it's all preset. I know that. I'm not the brightest one here. That's why I've got Jono on the screen with me. But, um, but he knows... In all the ins and outs, though, obviously, we've been doing this this one style we've been doing for two years now? Uh, actually, no, uh, 2021, I think we released oh, it. Oh, it's so almost three boys. years. Three, three, almost, almost age, four years. Age sneaks in with the grey. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it does. <laughs> need to get a bit of colouring in there, mate. So they've done really, really well. We have several models of vehicles that we already do, and we'll talk about them a little bit later on. But we're going to run through all the functions um, of the current model how much more advanced that it's been mm -hmm. and um, and why you know this is the number one kit and we can actually say that with absolute certainty and why and you tell us what are some of the functions that this does that no one else does well it's got these cool little push buttons no um, <laughs> all right so we we took everything from the gen 2 lockup kit that we've uh, we were doing for Geez, 10, 12, tw probably 12 years that uh, we were doing up until this point. Uh, and we added all of the extra functions that customers were asking for and wanted to add to the, the automation, I guess, was the biggest thing. Um, so this does essentially the same thing as what the Gen 2 does. So you've got your manual lockup function, you push the button, it locks up, etc. However, what we've done is added in automation. So we're picking up vehicle information, like from the CAN bus in some vehicles, speed signals, and then we're feeding that into the system and making calculations when to bring the lock up on, when to take it off. A lot of advanced functionality, even to the point where you push down on the throttle, full throttle, it turns off so that you can get the, the, the full amount of torque from the engine and off you go and then it locks back up once it decides that it's the best to do so. So when you mean full automation, you mean people don't need to use the switch anymore. You can just turn around and just jump in the car, hit the ignition, just go. The thing just starts up and it does everything by itself. You don't actually have to touch a thing. 100%. Yep. You just do it. Yep. And obviously there's several settings, so depending on, you might want to change the setting, which you can easily do, you just change the setting, yep. either yep. via the switch, you can change yes. the setting, um, or you can even fine tune yep. via your app. So we have five presets, and Correct. each one of those presets can actually be altered uh, to your own personal preferences, and you can just do that via the app, and it's all Bluetooth, nothing to yep. connect and everything. You get in the car, you start it up, you, you hit the app on your phone, and that, and your app very quickly finds the, the lock up in the car, and away it goes. Yeah. Now, um, of course, if you aren't tech savvy, you don't have to use the app. You can just start the car, drive off. Yeah. Uh, if you've got a a workshop that you know and, and trust, they can set the whole thing up for you, get all of the calibration ready to go, and then you just start the car and go. So there's no requirement to actually have the app on your phone. But if you're gonna go do some weird things, like, I don't know, you're heading up to Udna Data Track, or you're, you're doing the, the canning stock route, and you just want to, to have the, the lockup come in at a very, very specific point or speed or gear or whatever, Jump on the so app. With the app, if you want the lockup to come in a little, a little bit earlier or a little bit later, you just jump on the app and you can do it. And it doesn't jump matter where app, you are. You, you don't go. actually have to have phone coverage to do this. Correct. The phone just needs to see, via Bluetooth, just needs to see this, which is just tucked up underneath. Hmm. The as dashboard. long as you've downloaded the app first. Yeah, well, yes. Yeah, you've got to assume, yeah, good download it. It does come first. with the instructions yeah. that tell you how to download the app and everything like yeah. that. And it doesn't, also, it doesn't matter whether you've got an iPhone. It also works on... Yes, we will also work with Androids. <laughs> and iPad, Mini, iPads, the whole Androids, lot. Um, Kindles. The, the, Tell me, does it work on a Kindle? Gee, I don't know. I, don't I know. think it does. I think it does. I'm pretty but, sure it you know, does. If you but, absolutely have to resort to that, 
we can probably make that work. <laughs> uh, but yeah, any of your iOS or Apple devices, any of your Android devices, uh, it will absolutely work as long as it's up to the latest software versions. Um, there is a little bit of an, a requirement around that, which is normal. But uh, yeah, we've made it uh, universal across all the systems. And anyone can connect if you allow them, or you've got the security to say, no, no one's allowed to connect so that no one can you know, push change settings on you without you knowing about it. Now, I was actually part of the early design of this, and so I'm to blame probably mostly for the, the shape in some ways, but also the durability. I wanted to make sure that it suited Australian conditions. So obviously four wheel drive, so dust, dirt, heavy corrugated roads. You can even completely submerge this kit. Yep. Completely submerge it. So if you're doing big river crossings and you come unstuck, yep. you get the car up, you manage to get it you know, cranked up again, the lock-up kit will just fire. And it's not actually a full plastic. I know this is a uh, PVC a glass, injected uh, glass. glass reinforced nylon. Nylon. So, yeah. Um, we made it so when we were actually trying to make this kit, the guys that were helping us with the shape and that were actually making them and then standing on them and then riding bicycles over them and then I part the car believe, tire on top of it. I do believe the car still a, uh, a large four-wheel drive was driven up was on it. It was driven up and over sure. it just to be sure. Yeah, just in case for whatever reason you wanted to install it and zip tie it to the tire, you know that it would survive. So it actually is really built for Australian conditions. Dust, dirt, weather, the whole, it takes really, really well. Now I noticed that you've actually got there's two sets of uh, looms here. Yep. All right. Now, I know that anybody that's starting off fresh, you don't actually have a lock up in your car at all. You get a complete master kit. Correct. So our main kit here is the full kit or what we refer to as the full kit. So you've get your, you're going to get your main harness, uh, various bits and pieces, including switches and CAN bus connection if you have a CAN bus vehicle or an analog harness if it's an analog vehicle. Uh, you, you only get, your, get the one that you need. That's right. You, you get a, a, a specific configuration. Yeah. So we're showing on your you vehicle. a bit more than what you're actually going to Correct. get. Correct. So. You get the, everyone gets the module. So that's the, the brains of yep. everything. And then again, we've got different switches depending on your vehicle configuration. So we'll see. So they're not that. getting all four of them. Trust me, you're not going to get confused with having all four. Yeah, you've got to have all four in there. So you've got to push them all you've got a 200 series, you'll get the 200 series switch. <laughs> um, just depends on what. The early 80 series, when we yep. do the early 80 series, 1055s, some of the early GUs, yeah, early we GUs, use a carling yep. switch. Um, for the later GU, um, later like common GUs, rail onwards, yep. Yep. we actually have the dedicated switch, which Correct. matches the switch type that's already yes. in the vehicle. Yep. And then... What's this harness? We've got this harness. So for you uh, users out there that already have our Gen 2 lockup kit, yep. what we've done is we've created a very simple upgrade process for you. So uh, this little connector here, if you unplug the Gen 2 lockup kit, that will plug straight into the harness. So all so of the you, wiring. You take the old module off. Take the old module off yep. and that plugs straight into the harness. So And then this end. That then plugs into the, the new lockup module. straight into there. Yep. And you're done. So, so, you, so you don't have to rewire the whole car? The, there's only, well, rewire the whole car. You, there's bit. only, depending <laughs> on your configuration, if you've got a CAN vehicle, you, you will need it. to add the CAN wires into that particular vehicle. Um, and if it's an analog vehicle, there will be some extra wires to add in. But all of the existing power and solenoid wires that were already got there, don't need to touch them. They're already They're done. Already They're already done. That's why you got the, the master yep. harness there. So it makes an upgrade a little bit more attractive for those who have already uh, spent money with us and they love the kit and they just want to add the extra functionality of the, the Nomad Lockup Kit. We're actually very proud of the kit and what it actually means and that. Now, the harnesses and most of these parts are all made in Australia. Now, the board is actually made in uh, Torrance, California, mm -hmm. in America. Yep. It's actually part of the HGM group. That's the company that actually does, well, all the CompuShift. They're the ones that help us yes. build all the computers, the standalone computers, when we do all the manual to automatic conversions, right up into the, the six speeds yep. plus. Um, so it's a really well-known company that we've teamed up with and you just couldn't get any better, really. Yeah. You couldn't get it. Also, they helped us with the app and the design yeah. and everything like that. Well, they That's already know automotive, great. so it wasn't. we didn't have to try and teach uh, them all about automotive and automatic transmissions. They already know all the information, so, so it we, made sense. With the app, have we covered the sort of things that you can actually adjust? Not yet. So um, going to screen record this for you so that you can see what's going on. But when you connect to your module for the first time, it'll go through a setup wizard. So it's as simple as we can possibly make it for you. Uh, it'll ask you if you need to update your firmware, for instance. So as, 
as we bring out new versions or we, we find ways to make things better, just through the, the app on your phone, you'll be able to access the, the software updates as they come available. So if you buy one, or if you bought one back in 2021 as one of the early people, then as we make more functionality and add functionality, you'll be able to update that software and get all the latest technology um, however many years into the future. So that's a really cool feature that we've added that uh, anyone can do, uh, very straightforward. Uh, so I'll step you through the setup wizard now. So it's asking if you can uh, check the firmware version and uh, it's all good. So now we move on to select your vehicle type. So here I can go in and say, oh, I've got a Toyota. Uh, maybe I've got a Prado and it already pre-fills the Prado 150 series because that's what we've got available from the Prado sit range. We hit apply and that will now set all of the bits and pieces that we need to set. And once that's ready, we can continue on Waiting, waiting. <laughs> oh, there it is. Now, it's come up and saying CAN bus test failed. And that's because my module is not connected to a vehicle at the moment. So as part of the setup wizard, we actually check that we're getting all the CAN bus signals that we want to get to verify that we're connected correctly and that we're connected to the right vehicle. So that way, there's no chance of you getting into there and having all sorts of problems. We can also check all the inputs, so you can push your foot on the brake, on the throttle, uh, push the switch, make sure everything so is working like a checklist. correctly. Yeah, exactly. Basically, it's a checklist yeah. you go so through. This which way is you brilliant. Can... There's nothing else out there that really got something that actually lets you make sure that you've double checked your install. Yeah, I mean, going through and making like sure that you... it's actually getting all the signal input signals correctly. Yeah, I mean, if you if you've uh, not plugged the switch in properly, for instance, right, and you get all in there and it's not working for whatever reason, well. As part of the setup wizard, you can push the switch and it'll tell you that it's receiving the signal, so therefore yeah. you know you've plugged it in. The if it doesn't oh, work, right. then yeah. you know you've missed something or you need to recheck. Continue on. We also now have the choice where you can choose an automatic lockup control system or a manual system. So for some customers, maybe competition style customers, yeah. they don't want automatic. They just want a manual That's control. In other words, they're lockout. relying on the switch. They they're just relying the switch. on the switch to engage. So we give yeah. that option available for those customers mm -hmm. who still want that option. But the people that actually run the automatic system and choose the automatic system, you can still override with the manual switch at any time. Correct, yeah. So the automatic system allows you to use both at the same time. Uh, absolutely, you know, yeah. As with the manual, it says, no, nope, not listening to your CAN bus. You just tell me when you want it on and off. 100%. Uh, you can also set your tyre size. So if you don't have standard tyre sizes, you can uh, adjust that and that will adjust all of the information in the in the app as well. And now we've completed the setup wizard. That's as That's hard it. as it gets. Once we're in... Here we go. Now we've seen the juicy bits. Now <laughs> we have our dashboard available so we can see the readout of all of the information from the vehicle. We also have the ability to now can change all of your different calibrations. Yeah, so we give you, you got five presets. And like I said before, each one of them can actually be altered to suit your own your own needs. Correct. Right? Yeah. They do come preset, like five of them already come preset. And they're the most common five that we would normally get requested for. And as the years have gone on and in feedback, we've led us to go, these are the five and that's what makes it so you can actually plug it in, set and forget and just go. 100%. You don't actually have to worry about it. Yeah, so now that I've done all the setup wizard, I could technically turn the phone off and throw it away and I can drive around the car and it will do everything it needs to do. As through the, what, all, what through the, the all through the preset yeah. settings yeah. and you can push the button to have a manual lockup, as you just yeah. said. There's also a function in there that gives us uh, what we call secondary preset. So our primary preset is the one that will the calibration set every time you turn the car on. So that's our standard default one that comes on at, I think, 77 kilometers an hour, roughly. Um, and that will work no matter what the case. If you wanted to change or have a setting, say you're, um, you've hooked on your three and a half ton caravan mm. and you wanted it to maybe hold out a little bit later. Yeah. You can then change it to secondary preset by pushing and holding the switch for five seconds and bang, you're in secondary preset. So without having to open the app, you've gone to a different calibration with different settings. So that's just a quick grab. Push and hold for five seconds. And it'll start pulsing. Swaps out. Yeah, the light will start pulsing on the yeah. switch. Your job done. Just swaps out for that's a new... It. A new, Changes the um, complete setup so you now can say lock up at 85Ks an so hour. So if anybody does a lot of off-road 
and they're doing low speed towing, so corrugated roads or everything yep. like that. So you can have one for, well, you can have one for non-towing, have one for towing your, your caravan or whatever you're yep. towing. You can have one for just slow speed corrugated roads. You can have one just for complete off-road virtually. Yep. I mean, there are so many different, because there are so many different variants that everybody does mm. and has, that's the best part about this, that this can actually be set to whatever your life details, mm. whatever vehicle you have, whatever weight, tire size, the whole lot, and everything like that. Well, I mean, actually just touching on that, let's say we're about to go do the Udna Data track. Yeah. A ton of bu uh, bull dust and corrugations, yeah. and we're only gonna do maybe 50 Ks an hour, yeah. right? So let me go into calibration five here, and I can go, well, I'm gonna set my lowest gear to second gear, right? So it means that I'll lock up in second gear, yeah. potentially. Yeah. 37 Ks an hour is my lockup speed, 25 is my disengage speed. And now, if I go in and say primary preset, I want you to be calibration five, bang. It's in there, you can I'm pick on it, choose data it, track, and off you go. And it's taking care of itself. And we do have two sets of customers that, I'd safely say most of them would probably set and forget, they don't worry yeah. about it and that. Um, but there are a lot of people out there, especially with the new age, the new generation, the people that are a lot younger than me, <laughs> a lot lot younger than me do like the fiddle yeah they do like the fiddle and they just love this type of stuff they yep. love the app they love it and look we're only just touching on what it can actually do there's yep. so 100%. much more that it can actually do yep. and it's just if you feel capable or you're up to it you can do it yeah and we've got 50 dealers all over australia that can actually fit this but most of the people we find a lot of them actually do a lot of diy stuff and actually install them themselves so it does come with a great set of well it comes with a, a qr code it allows you to scan it and then all the fitting instructions are all there. Correct. So this is actually the startup guide. So we we pro provide this with the the idea of trying to save uh, you know paper being printed out and wasted. So we provide you this getting started guide that gives you the QR codes for the device that you're installing. So Nomad Talk Converter Lockup Kit. We can see here. We just scan the QR code, take you straight to the set of instructions that you need, and then you click on, say, Hilux or Prado, whatever your particular vehicle is, and you download it, and you've got your instructions. So doing our little bit to save the planet. We've come a long way, and we've certainly got them available. I mean, I know we do the, the 200 series. We do the Prado 150, which has got the six-speed auto in it. We've got the, got the current Hilux. We've got GU, common rail, non-common yep. rail, 80 series, 100 series, 105 series, and so many more, you know. So certainly, if you're interested in the new Nomad Lockup Kit, I think next time we'll test one of these, we're actually going to show you exactly how good it is. We're actually going to sit there, I'm going to plonk one of these in a fish tank. We're going to sit there and virtually go through the whole spiel and settings and setup with this thing live while actually being in the fish tank. That's how actually good it was. You're going to need and a deep fish tank. You can go to two metres, you know. Two metres. Yeah. <laughs> you gave more. But look, if you're interested, please um, drop us a line. You can give us a call. You know, 03 9762 8004. Here it is. Um, email us. Uh, what is it? Info at Ask Auto. Uh, we'll put the link up now. Askauto.com.au. If it. you have any questions... You know, you got any comments? Do you have one of our kits now? You know, please tell us. Tell us how you know how you've gone with it and everything like that. We'd be more than interested to help. I would like to hear some of the trips, where they've gone, what people have actually done with them, how much weight they've towed, and everything like that. I'm just so wrapped with this, and the feedback has been absolutely perfect. We've done so well with it. So please, like, subscribe. And we'll catch you all next time. Catch you later. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought, I'll be free one day from today